What is going on everyone? This is Cedric Sky Seti and welcome back to my channel. Today's video, I want to talk to you guys about how to make friends in Korea, especially as a foreigner. Now, I get this question a lot on my channel and on my videos about how to make friends in Korea, especially for those that are thinking about moving to Korea and they're a little anxious about making relationships and, and making friends. And so I got you covered in this video. But first, if you're new to this channel or you stumbled across this video, my name is Cedric, a black and Korean man living here in South Korea, and this channel is about Korean culture, my experiences here. If that is something that you're into, definitely hit that subscribe button and click that notification bell beside it. You don't want to miss some of the videos that I have coming out, and so make sure you join the family. All right, so I want to make this video really straight and to the point, and that way I can help answer your concerns about making friends here in Korea. Now, the thing about making friends is all human beings, no matter if you're in America or if you're in Korea, if you're in Japan, if you're in India, it doesn't matter. All human beings have this innate desire for relationships. So with that in mind, as the basis of today's video, making friends really shouldn't be as complicated as we make it out to be sometimes because at the end of the day, people just want to connect with people. Now with that said, there are many variables when it comes to making friends, especially when you're talking about different cultures and also different languages. I'm going to be focusing in this this video on how to make Korean friends or people who are native to this country. Making foreigner friends, in my opinion, can be a little bit easier, but that can be another topic for another video. If you guys want me to make a video on that, just let me know in the comments below. Now, when it comes to making friends here in Korea, I've got eight different things that I feel like would help you or at least things that you can think about when it comes to making friends. And so you can implement these, these tips and even strategies, if you will. And I think you won't have any issues with making friends here in Korea. Now, when it comes to connecting with Korean people here, I think most of you guys know that Korea is a society where Korean, the language Korean, is the predominant language. It's the dominant language. And English kind of serves as maybe the secondary language, but not everyone speaks English. A lot of people understand English and can speak it a little bit here, especially the younger people. But for the most part, there is a language barrier. If you're a native English speaker and you're looking to make friends with Korean speakers who don't really speak English. And so language is the biggest barrier. Now, remember, everyone wants to connect with someone. So communication is a big part of connection and connecting with other people. And so your fluency in Korean or the Korean's fluency in English can be a big variable in terms of how you connect, if at all, with someone. And so it kind of goes without saying, but I need to mention it because the better you are at Korean or the more you know Korean, especially since as a foreigner, you're coming into a country where their native language isn't English or whatever language you speak, but the more fluent you are in Korean, then the better your chances are of connecting with more people. It's just kind of common sense, right? So I wanted to throw that out there because depending on your level, that will impact how these next few tips will apply to you. First tip, shared interest groups and activities or hobbies. You can connect with different people here who have similar interests as you do. Do you like photography? Do you like to play soccer? Do you like sports? Do you like comic books? I mean, the list goes on and on, but there are many different interest groups that you can find either through Facebook. Even meetup.com has some groups that meet up. And a lot of these groups are foreigner based, but there are also a lot of Koreans that you can meet through these groups. So if you can find out where these groups are, when they meet and start participating in these groups, you have a very high likelihood of connecting with a Korean person who also wants to connect with foreigners. And you also have shared hobbies and interests, which already gives you uh, a point of connection. Tip number two, at your workplace or your school. Now, if you're here as an employee of a company or you're coming here as a teacher, or if you're even here as a student, your school or workplace can have tons of potential friends that want to connect with you. Many foreigners come over as English teachers and you are typically placed either in a public school or even at a hagwon. Now these hagwons or schools may have other people that might be around your age, if you know age is important for you, 
that would want to connect with you as a friend. Now in Korea, I have to note that when it comes to friendships and relationships, typically the people who will become your closer friends, they will probably be your age or close to your age because that's just how Korean relationships work here, generally speaking. When you're the same age, you're friends. When you're a little bit older, you might be anni or oppa, depending if you're a man or woman. Or if you're a little younger, you might be like dongseng, like a little brother, little sister. And that's kind of how the relationship dynamic is. As a foreigner, that dynamic might be a little different, but just kind of keep that in mind because you might have a better chance of being closer with someone who is around your same age. Number three, friends of friends. Now, once you get in good with one or two people here in Korea, depending on how comfortable they are introducing you to their friends, they might let you in their circle. It's really cool because if you connect with one person, they trust you enough, then they might want to invite you out to maybe an event or just a hangout or they're going out for some drinks or something like that and they'll invite you out while they're out with their friends and they'll connect you with their friends. I've met actually a lot of cool people through the friends that I've met, especially in Daejeon. I've met the friends of friends and so we've been able to stay connected in that way. So I think that's a good way to do it and it's also a little bit easier to gain the trust of the friends of your friend because you have a mutual contact. Number four, the social scene. You can also make friends when you're out and about. So if you're into like the clubbing thing or if you're into the nightlife thing or if you just like to go to a bar and hang out, Sometimes you can even meet cool people there in public, random people, random strangers, having a good time, there's no pressure or anything like that, but you might be able to connect with some cool people there, just strike up a conversation with somebody and you never know, you can exchange information, cacao talk, Instagram, and just stay connected from there and then hang out at another time. Number five, church or religious affiliation. Now, if you are someone who goes to church or attends church or attends a Catholic assembly, whatever your religion is, if they have a place of worship here that fits whatever your worldview is, you can go there and obviously connect with people who have the same beliefs as you. And a lot of times you'll find that these places will have people who will welcome you in and they'll be very open to having you come into the circle or into the crew. And so if that's your thing, then definitely check that out because I think that's an easy way to make friends. Number six, volunteering in charity. Now, if you can find a charity to get involved with or to volunteer with, depending on how big the charity is or how many volunteers they have, you can connect with different workers or volunteers over there. And if that's something that you guys can connect over, then I think that's great because you're not only connecting as friends, but you're also making a difference in society. Number seven, language exchange. Now, a language exchange is basically a meetup group or like a language club where they meet in a location like a cafe or a bar, and there's a big group of people comprised of foreigners and Koreans who want to learn each other's languages. It's really cool because the Koreans that attend the language exchange Many of them, they're already primed to meet foreigners or to meet other people outside of Koreans because they want to not only learn another language, say for example, English, but they also want to make friends with foreigners. And number eight, language exchange applications. Now, I'm talking about the apps that you can download on your phone. Some of the apps that I know of are HelloTalk and also an app called Meef. Now, HelloTalk, I've talked about this in previous videos before, but it's basically like a language exchange social media platform where you can connect with people depending on location and you can keep everything online or, you know, if you feel safe enough, you can actually meet these people in person. I've actually met two people off of Hello Talk that I consider friends now when I was living in Daejeon and we would hang out, we would actually language exchange. And so this is a very good way to connect with people, but beware because it is also kind of like a low key dating app. A lot of people are on there because they want to find somebody to date as well. It is not a dating app. As a matter of fact, I think when you download the app, there's a warning saying, hey, don't use this for dating. But uh, yeah, people do it anyway, of course. And then the other app is called Meef. Meef, I didn't really get into. I did create a profile, but I quickly began to learn that it was like, again, a low key dating app. It's an app for friends, or that's what they call it, an app for friends to find local friends. But it's very similar to like Tinder, where you create your own profile. And I believe when you log in, you have profiles that are shown to you or matches, and you can either accept or reject 
these potential friends. But a lot of people are on there for language exchange. And so if that's something that you wanna consider, definitely check the app out, at least for yourself, and see if it works for you. All right, guys, that is it. Eight tips on how to make Korean friends as a foreigner. I hope that this video was very helpful for you guys, and hopefully it, it, it alleviates a little bit of that anxiety, especially for those of you guys that are just now moving to Korea, or you're planning on moving to Korea in the future. It's really not a complicated thing. There are plenty of Koreans that would want to connect with you. But again, in order to connect, to make it really effective, there needs to be a communication exchange. There needs to be a way to be able to communicate with this person. And so I definitely encourage those of you guys that are coming over and you plan on staying for a good while, even long term, to really take the language learning seriously. And when I say that, I mean Korean learning. That way you can connect with more people and you'll also gain the respect of a lot of Koreans when you take the time to really learn the language to connect with them. That's where the real meaningful relationships will lie. Anyways, that is it. Guys, if you have any tips on how to make friends in Korea as a foreigner, leave them in the comments below. I'd love to hear your thoughts and I'm sure other people would love to hear them too. Also, if you're not subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button, click that notification bell, and follow me on social media at SkySeti on all the platforms. I'll see you guys in the next video and remember to always seize the day. Peace.